Pungarong Integrated Complex is in its fourth year of construction. In six months, the first shipment of crude oil. It will be fed to the refinery, and a team is inspecting an important feature, mass transfer trays. Each tray needs to be perfectly leveled. If not, it will affect the final product. Head process engineer Shahidan Laili is inspecting the trays. This is totally not acceptable. Okay, because the tray is not leveled. So this vast tray is being obstructed. If the tray is not fixed immediately, all work is delayed. So the inspection was good. They repaired the defects very quickly, and now we are back on schedule. The team can now move on to installing another of the 191 trays. Shifts in the global market has pushed the oil and gas industry to pursue ways to future-proof their businesses, resulting in the use of innovative technologies. In a site this massive, Digital technology is extremely crucial. For project manager Sai Omar, it's a huge challenge. For the operations of about 2,000 odd people to have full visibility of this complex that spans about seven kilometers by five kilometers, to react to something in that distance could mean many things. It could mean a life being lost. Through the incorporation of digital technology, Pangarang Integrated Complex aims to operate more efficiently and safely. This megastructure is connected through wireless technology with more than a thousand signal points, each reaching a coverage of up to 100 meters. Unlike traditional facilities, these points will allow ground staff to have real-time visibility and instant access to information at any time. Teams are hard at work, and a huge deadline is looming, the arrival of the very large crude carrier. Sai Omar and his team must ensure that the wireless communication system is up and running. With many workers involved in the arrival of crude oil, a volatile liquid, weak connectivity could result in a communication breakdown, which can lead to a massive disaster. It's going to be a very, very challenging task. His team's task is to install wireless signal points in one of the most complicated areas, the refinery. The refinery comprises of more than 90% of the total amount of steel used in the entire complex, and steel weakens the signal between the wireless points. In preparation for the arrival of the crude vessel, field engineer Hasek Yunus and his team are conducting a crucial test, evaluating the signal strength between wireless points. There is no signal in this area, and we have a dense metal structure. Azmeh? Please relocate your end point to upper deck. Not to that. The thick metal structures proved to be a challenge for the team. Okay. The signal is still not getting through. Azmeh, please reposition the access point. Okay, not that. Okay. Okay. We have a very strong signal. This is number 40 of the 120 signal points required to be installed in the refinery area. And with only 22 days left before the arrival of the very large crude carrier, the team must ensure that all access points will be ready by then. The vessel only has a three-meter clearance between its body 
and the jetty. The momentum that she carries with her demands good piloting skills. Good piloting skills means when you berth a vessel in between the berth and the ship side, if you put an egg in between, the egg will not break. It's critical to ensure that the vessel is aligned perfectly to the dock before beginning the berthing process. Dead slow ahead. Dead slow ahead. Uh, maintain uh, 3 meters. Maintain 3 meters. Tali sangkut tak? Jangan pergi sangkut dekat situ. Ha, tu kat sangkut tu nampak tu. Jangan tarik zzzz tu. These rubber fenders act as buffers, absorbing any collision energy between the vessel and the dock. Now the critical is the aligning. It's not about secure. With a vessel just mere millimeters away, tensions are rising. Stand by, stand by. Spring. Position. In position, okay, bet. Right. Import, import, man, import. The berthing is a success, and everyone's spirits are high. 